Now, WGEM Sports with Sports Director Tony Cornish Jr. Tournaments in the Tri-States is now underway in the Show Me State. That's right, today marks day one of action at the week-long 96th annual Monroe City Tournament taking place at, in the heart of Panther Country at Monroe City High. That's where WGM's Garrett Tias is standing by with an update. Garrett? Thanks, Tony. I'm joined here by Monroe City Head Girls Coach, Coach Leonard and Coach. It's the 96th annual Monroe City Tournament. Just kind of speak on this and how big of a tournament this is, just not for your team, but the whole school and just every program here. Uh, I mean, it's a big deal. I mean, we're uh, we're definitely one of the oldest in the nation, especially this side of the Mississippi. Um, you know, it's a, we're hoping for another good week. We've had to make some changes this week, splitting it up into two gyms and staggering out times a little bit. But, you know, we're trying to make things as normal as possible for kids so they get an get opportunity to compete and uh, so everybody can still stay in school as well. So we're doing what we can. I mean, there's a bunch of hoops we've got to jump through, but that's the steps we're taking. And you and Ben mentioned you guys are going to also be playing in the middle school at Gym 2 Gyms. What are, what are some of the other protocols you guys are following to let this tournament happen? Um, we had to limit down to two tickets per, per uh, athlete playing. Um, now we got hand sanitizer all over the stinking place. Uh, both, both benches have it. The score table has it. Uh, you know, just doing whatever we can, but, you know, some people are going to say you're doing, you shouldn't be playing. Some people are going to say you're doing too much. It just is what it is right now, and we're, we're, we're doing the steps we feel comfortable with to be able to get this to go. And speaking of playing, you guys have been playing really well. You got a nice big win Saturday. What are, what are you seeing out of your team right now that you really like that you guys want to continue this tournament? Uh, just keep improving each game. I mean, each game's been a little bit different for us so far. Just still trying to fill out process. Um, you know, just hopefully get first round in here and uh, keep chipping away this week and see where we can go. Thank you, Coach. Good luck this week. We're going to have highlights from games all over this week. Uh, WGM at 10. F reporting from Monroe City, Garrett Tias. Tony, back to you in the studio. Thanks a lot, Garrett. Certainly appreciate that. Right now, in fact, the girls game that was scheduled to start at 5 o'clock, Monroe City is winning 68-7 to at last report against Louisiana. They're late in that contest. Game highlights, again, headed your way tonight on WGEM Sports at 10. Now, a little bit of football news. The Quincy High football program received a bit of a, an emotional lift, you could say, today when their upcoming spring schedule was released. The Blue Devils will play host to United Township on March 5th to open up their six-game schedule that, as of now, only consists of Western Big Six opponents. Due to COVID-19, the Blue and White were forced, of course, to move their schedule from the fall to the spring per IHSA guidelines. Now, QHS is slated to travel to Galesburg on March the 12th and then face Sterling at home on March 19th. The Blue Devils will face Alleman on the road on April 2nd, followed by a home date against Rock Island on April 9th. On April 16th, Quincy High will face Moline on the road. The schedule, of course, is subject to change. That's a wrap for sports. We'll be back after this.